Welcome back, boys and girls, one more time to the Audible Show. This is uh, Dark Valentine 1984, coming right back at you. I'm coming with another tutorial, which will be an actual part four to the three previous tutorials that I've done on removing background colors through images and portraits. That was done through GIMP, Paint Shop Pro X, and Photoshop, but we're going to do another one here. And this one's very, very, very simple here. It's going to be done through Snagit's Snagit Editor. So, yeah, believe it or not, this is going to be done through Snagit Editor. For those of you who think this can't be done, I just actually sat here and figured this out within a few minutes on how it can be done. And I'm going to show you exactly how it's done without wasting your time. So, let's get on and get started. First thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and pick out a random image. Doesn't matter where, we're just going to pick out where and have a background color on it okay so let's just go ahead and pick one I'll, I'll just pick one from my collection here uh, uh okay about dark chun Li. yeah yeah she looks badass enough for this let's go okay so we'll just put her on here bam as you see she has the gray background color yeah nice we want to get rid of that i don't want to see that so this is what you do you go ahead and first click on paste mode and you can choose opaque background or background colors trans well obviously the second option is pretty obvious if you just move your mouse over it use the background color as a transparent color you go ahead and click on that and then you click on colors and then you click on transparent color and it will notify you that the images within transparency must have a color depth of 256 or less colors. The color depth of your image is too high. Should snag it, set your image to use 256 colors. You choose yes, change to 256 colors and continue. You always want to choose yes for this. You click yes and you'll have a new option called use transparent color. Now you can use that and you'll get two options. You can either use the uh, paint picker, uh, color picker tool, which would be a wise decision. You can use color picker here. It's in transparent mode, but um, we're going to use the color picker here. And that's going to be the current transparent color here. We're going to use that as our transparent color. And we're going to go ahead and click file. We're going to click save as, and we're going to save it as a GIF image. Okay, I already have it here. Now that we have it as a GIF image, what I want to see is will it appear on a transparent background in another program, say for instance like the GIMP. If it does, that's great and we're going to find out right now. Okay, I have GIMP up and ready. I'm going to take the picture here and I'm going to drop it and drag it. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a clean cut picture. And you can go ahead and do all your cropping and pretty much the way you want it done, you know, your way, however you want to do it. We have a perfectly clean cut image. No fuss, no mess, no problems. Just like that. And we are free to do what we want. Clean cut, simple, fast, and easy. Now, well, hope that really does it for you. If you want to, I'll go through it one more time just so you can see exactly what I did. Okay, we're going to go through it one more time. Let me, uh, let me do it again. New image. All right, now we're going to do this one more time so you can get it the second time. You take a, a random image that has a background color, doesn't matter what it is. Okay, you open it up and snag it. You choose use background colors, transparent color, or the second paste mode. You click on colors, click on transparent colors, say yes to change 256 colors and continue. Click on use transparent color, use the uh, color pick tool, click on the background image, it will automatically select it in your box. Okay, once you select it in your box, you can click the palette and find out which one was selected. Once you find out which one was selected, just go to your properties and just move your mouse on the second box, which is background color. Just choose the background color that is not associated with the main character's color, basically the one that was chosen from the background. Select it, click file, click save as, 
switch it to GIF, save, and then just open it up in another program just to see if you did it right. It'll normally show that you did it right, as you can see right here. No background color, no problem. Well, I hope that does it for you. Uh, this is uh, Dark Valentine 1984 signing out.